Good morning. Um, I am at the moment in uh, St. Petersburg Airport. And it's been a really crazy morning getting here from Moscow because um, I was pretty close to missing my flight. I had planned to take like uh, the train to the airport, but then I missed the right uh, train. Um, and like getting to the train was a pain. I should I should have just taken a taxi, but you know, I was kind of afraid maybe the traffic would be bad in the morning, and then I wouldn't make it because the taxi would take too long. Then I ended up taking a taxi anyway because if I would have waited for the next train, I would have missed my flight for sure. So I figured that I would rather just you know take my chances and try and take the taxi and just you know go um, hopefully make it to my flight. I was so close to missing it, like so close literally when <laughs> I mean I was already super late and then I ran through like half the airport and they were like calling my name and couldn't find the gate and it was just I was so tired and I was feel was feeling kind of sick because yesterday we I mean we had just a, like a few drinks but it wasn't like you know so I don't know but after all that running I actually kind of feel better um, which is nice uh, but yeah right now I'm still at the airport here uh, which is a really nice airport like a really 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 nice one because I mean I've been to quite a few and um, yeah it's really like a newly renovated one anyways um, what else yeah I mean I could have told like the story is way way worse but you know I kind of thought that I would open the camera and just complain about it for ages, but I don't feel like it. You know, it's better to put it behind me. Right now I'm having a green tea at Starbucks, so I just kind of wanted to get on the internet for a bit and um, yeah, just like sit down and relax. Because I mean, I was on the plane and oh, the flight was quite nice as well. I mean, uh, you know, it was just like an hour or so, maybe even less. and. Um, they offered like sandwiches and stuff like that, which was weird because you can buy that flight, like tickets to that flight for like 10 euros and they'll still give you a sandwich and coffee and stuff like that. I don't know how to do that like, but yeah, it was quite nice. And then, um, yeah, but I couldn't eat though because I wasn't hungry. But yeah, so now my day in St. Petersburg is about to start. Obviously I look quite tired, don't I? I think this uh, pigeon wants me to give it food. It's been staring at me. Not now that I'm filming. Didn't think it would be that shy, but yeah. Still have some cupcakes, so maybe I'll give him some of that. All right, guys. So I am now hanging out at a random train station in a really random place. Um, yeah. Uh, this is the option that according to Google Maps was supposed to be the fastest I think it's because one of the train times like the trains that go from here matched up with the time that I put as my sort of like when I thought I would be ready I thought I would have like checked luggage so that might take a little bit longer uh, I didn't end up checking my luggage so checking my luggage in don't know so that didn't happen and I had way more time I, and you know I sat down for tea and stuff like that so now I have to wait here for half an hour uh, it's just like the trains at home like the train stations at home um, and um, oh sorry like it looks so much like the ones at home obviously ours I mean it looks like the ones we used to have um, because now we have the new and really cool ones uh, so yeah, it's a bit of a nostalgia moment But yeah, I took a bus Because the bus was like right in front of the airport. So I was like, oh, this is so easy But now I'm here in a really really random place um, And I have to wait here for like half an hour. I could go to the gas station. That's like right here, but I Think I might just wait here. It's uh, now I have like 20 minutes left
Right guys, so right now behind me, wait, let me let me position myself better. You can see uh, the Hermitage. I'll try to walk backwards a little bit. Um, yeah, so I just was kind of, well, I took, um, got off the metro at Nevsky Prospect and then walked a bit and then ended up here. I uh, didn't plan on it at all. But you know, it's cool. <laughs> no, I just thought that um, I would like film some clips right now uh, because it's light out and you can see something. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go in right now. Like I would rather just walk around first to see things in daylight and then afterwards go and um, like do the whole inside thing. I mean, I'm not gonna do everything, I'm just gonna take my pick what I'm gonna go and see, but yeah, excited for that afterwards. As I said, I mean, it's open until nine today, so that works out. Um, but yeah, I think for now I'm gonna go, oh, and find food because I'm kind of hungry. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take a look at my cute little tourist book that my mom gave me um, and then, um, get stuff from there. So anyways, uh, now you had a little peek of that and then I will try and uh, eat so that I'm more normal. <laughs> Hey guys, I have no idea where I am right now. I've been in this sort of um, mall kind of a thing. I don't know, it like it's kind of like a department store-ish, but then again, it looks really like outdated. But like the stuff is quite like, I don't know, like a regular store stuff. So I'm not sure. Not sure what that is. Anyways, also went to lunch, had some classic stuff and I found like a place that was on um, uh, the like a guidebook that my mom came uh, to take with. And it wasn't so uh, good. I didn't, I personally didn't like it. I got like uh, the like pancakes with um, some caviar, but the caviar was like really low quality. And I also had borscht. Uh, they advertised at the place is called Idiot, and they advertised it as like it's. Uh, I'm sorry. I think there's noise. Someone's cleaning the snow, uh, so I'll continue in a little bit. Right, so um, I think it's better now with the sound and stuff like that. But yeah, didn't really like it that much. Like, it, yeah, they had like the classic Russian things. Oh, also they brought me a shot of vodka because that's apparently the thing they do. But I couldn't have uh, <laughs> kind of uh, had that because it was just really... I'm still not feeling that good. I think like the combination of eating a lot yesterday and then having a couple of beers. I, I just wasn't feeling great this morning. Um, so I didn't really want any uh, alcohol because I feel like I would have thrown up and I'm still like, my stomach's a bit uneasy. So I don't really want to risk it. Um, but I'm trying to find the Pushkin House Museum and then also the Hermitage. I actually don't know if I have the time for the House Museum anymore, but we'll see how quickly I find it. All the places I want to go to are quite close to each other. So that's good. Um, and uh, yep, I feel like that's all I really wanted to say for now. <laughs>
I think I realized why I'm so cold today. I don't think it's St. Petersburg. I think it's just because I slept like four hours or so last night. Um, I had to get up quite early and I didn't really go to sleep early either. So it ended up uh, not working out so well with the, uh, well, basically, usually when I haven't slept much, I'm a bit cold. So I think that's that kind of. Hey guys, I am back in Tartu at home now and um, <laughs> I slept for 16 hours. 16. Um, that is not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Anyway, um, it was nice though. You know, being back home and in your own bed, you can totally see it in my face, can't you? But I won't like drag this little uh, I slept for 16 hours thing for too long because um, I do have other things I want to talk about, like the restaurant I went to in St. Petersburg and uh, stuff like that and what I generally thought. So I'm just quickly gonna shower now and try and look a little bit more, you know, better. And then I will be back and I will... Um, yeah, talk to you about all that stuff. Right. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of set up better now. I'm wearing this really um, comfy, like, chilling at home kind of still wrinkly thing that I will not iron just for being at home. But anyway, uh, right. I think I'm going to start out by talking about the restaurant. So I mentioned something about, like, that the chef's Estonian. That's why I kind of want to go see it. And I found it in this magazine called, well, in Estonian, Gök means kitchen. And, um, yeah, basically the picture of the food already looked so good. Uh, okay, so this is the chef here. And then um, here, I don't know if you can see it, is, picture, is a picture of, of the food and like a bit of the restaurant as well. And I was like, I was planning to go to Russia anyway, but I was planning to go to St. Petersburg. I mean, sorry, I was planning to go to Moscow and I did go to Moscow. Um, but I was like, oh my God, this restaurant, I really want to go. And I checked it out online. And um, because the ruble has fallen, uh, prices of really good restaurants are <laughs> really, really uh, cheap in, in Russia. So I was like, oh my God, it cost, like I can afford it actually. And I just, you know, I'm not planning to go, but since I was gonna get the visa anyway, and flights from Moscow to St. Petersburg were like eight euros or something. So I was like, okay, okay. I mean, I haven't seen St. Petersburg anyway, so I could do a day there. And that's what I decided to do. And you know, there's been clips about that. Um, I'm trying to talk like rather fast because otherwise I'll make the video super long and none of you will feel like watching it. But. <laughs> Uh, the restaurant was so, so, so good. 
Um, there was, weren't many people there. I mean, it was like Wednesday evening um, and I had like an hour or so, so not too long, but I still managed to get a, a three course meal. And the waiter was very nice. I think his name was Dimitri. I think so. I hope it was. He was very, very nice to me. And he recommended, uh, I think, all the things that I ate. <laughs> Um, and also the cocktails. I had two cocktails as well and the first one um, yeah was recommended by the waiter and he it was just it was, wow it was like dry ice and stuff um, and I don't I, I mean I've seen dry ice before but I don't think dry ice has ever before been served to me and uh, at a place I'm eating uh, so that was really really cool and um, yeah, I have a clip of that cocktail. It looked cool. So that one I do have a clip of. I don't have a lot of stuff, but that I have a clip of. And I will put it uh, in here now. Right, so moving on, uh, the cocktail of course was really, really tasty. And um, it, I think it was like with basil again, and it was kind of like sourish, but also reminded me of melon a little bit. You know, this really fresh taste um, it was great. Then I had, my starter was called umami and it was a soup basically or broth, uh, a consomme uh, with, there was cod liver, seaweed, um, there was a quail's egg, um, things like that. Amazing. Oh my God, you have... <laughs> I had no idea that seaweed could taste like that or cod liver. I've had cod liver before. I've had seaweed before either. And um, I, seaweed I like better, uh, but obviously, I mean, seaweed, yeah. I mean, I used to not love it. Now I quite love it, but the way that was cooked there was amazing. Like I highly recommend you try that because I have no idea how, I mean, maybe it's the kind of seaweed as, seaweed as well, but it tasted so, so good. I would eat it every day if I could get it in the store. I think it, he explained to me that it was from somewhere in Russia, uh, like in the East side. So yeah, that was amazing. And then also I had, uh, oh yeah, the cod liver in there. Oh my God. Like cod liver, uh, you know, I mean, you generally buy, buy it like in a conserved can or something. And it's, you know, something that old people eat. But that was amazing. I could not get enough of that cod liver. It was really, really nice. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. So yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, another thing I had, my, well, my second course was, um, oh, it was, come back to me now. I'm having a blank moment. Oh my God. That is what happens to you when you sleep for 16 uh, hours. Um, I had, it was with cauliflower. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna look up the name and stuff so I actually get it right. Right, so the second course I had, uh, and I'm reading it off their website so I get everything right. And I'll actually, I'll read the umami as well. So it says, uh, uh, seaweed broth with liver of cod and prawns, straightened burnt oil, seaweed broth, oh wait, with cod's liver and prawns, uh, black butter. It was great. Um, oh my god, I think I'm running out of memory space on my uh, thingy uh, camera. I'm gonna hopefully get it. Okay, so the next uh, thing is brown trout uh, with mustard sauce, cauliflower and broccoli. Amazing. Like the sauce was like really like fluffy and airy and I don't know, like it tasted like you're eating cloud. And then they had these like uh, the cauliflower bits and there was something like sour in there as well. I'm not sure what exactly. And then uh, the trout melted in my mouth. It was like the best fish I have ever had in my life. And so far it, the best wish fish I, I'd had in my life, I think was in Brazil, um, which was, I think also it was so exciting because I hadn't had that kind of fish before, but obviously it was very well made as well. But this fish beats that by far. It was amazing. It was really, really good. And then I had another cocktail. It was something to do with like sex on the roof or something like that was the name. Also with dry ice, once again, like amazing serving and all that sort of thing. And then uh, it, it was it was like a really berry tasting. Um, it was a nice cocktail, like not as memorable as the first one maybe, but yeah, definitely good. Um, really enjoyed that as well. And then, I mean, they do really cool cocktails there. So uh, 
definitely try a cocktail even if you normally would order like I don't know something else uh, I would highly recommend trying cocktails there and um, yeah and then my dessert uh, well I'll, I'll read the menu it was uh, called summer bush uh, with cassis le leaves or blackcurrant leaves a flavored ice cream uh, served with arctic berries and it was like the arctic berries were kind of as a jam and with uh, sour cream and with some sort of a cake or not really a cake it was a bit like heavier than cake um not sure what it's called uh can't like it, it reminded it was a more tougher texture or i can't really describe um, and then also there was this uh, white chocolate thingy with buckwheat and some sort of filling. It uh, was really interesting. The white chocolate wasn't sweet at all, so that was amazing. Um, really a good experience. But the blackcurrant flavored ice cream was... Uh, I don't know. I'm a huge ice cream person. Um, I try ice cream everywhere. I mean, ice cream is the thing for me. And uh, that one incredible 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 um so yeah definitely uh, the rest of the dessert wasn't like as blowing my mind i mean i get it was kind of like the nordic influenced and all that and it was very much those elements but that ice cream was so good amazing 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 so anyway these are the things i had at the restaurant and i loved it and I highly recommend you go because it was delicious and at least now where the ruble has fallen the prices are <laughs> crazily ridiculously inexpensive um, such good food such good food though I would I would want to pay you the full price for it I mean full price I mean, um, I'm just not gonna like go into it I've told you about the restaurant it was amazing highly recommend it I will definitely at some point go again because it was really good um, so yeah